I have brought Coach Cruz once again with me. It is the last day. Just kidding, eight more. That would be so funny if we all just refused to leave. What could they do, really? Except arrest us all. And get us over the side. The brick can't possibly fit more than ten people. Um, I have a series of events which you guys want to get through very quickly so you get as much show as possible. Uh, first of all, we found uh, our greatest cut and paste error uh, this morning in the original Sea Monkey in that right now the description for Steve Jackson's Munchkin event at 4 p.m. in the Labyrinth right after the show has the description for the Gloom event that is earlier this morning. Uh, Munchkin does not involve Gloom. But it will be uh, a game with uh, Munchkin with Steve Jackson playing in the Labyrinth along with their, I believe, a taste test winner, possibly some special guests. Uh, so please enjoy that after the show. There's still fun stuff happening after the show. Quickly, some announcements. You all should have received customs forms in your rooms this morning. Make sure you get those filled out. Don't wait until you're standing there at the customs desk or people will point and laugh at you. Uh, all of you also, I believe, received gratuity envelopes in your state rooms. Again, to be clear, your regular uh, main gratuities have been prepaid as part of your cruise fare. Those envelopes are for any extra gratuities if you feel you've received exceptional service from any particular state room attendant or your waiters or a bartender or whomever you like. You can fill that, uh, you can use that envelope, you can drop, there's a drop by the main uh, front desk uh, or in your room. You have a tip for Jim Boja, just hand it to him as cash. <laughs> Those of you checking order. Later, Jim. Later. <laughs> you summoned him. It's one of my powers, yes. Uh, I cast Jim Boja. He's super effective. Um, bass guitar. Bass guitar. <laughs> Uh, those of you checking luggage, having having uh, the ship bring your luggage down to the port for you, uh, you need to have that outside your room by, uh, I have three question marks because I never got that answer. Does anyone know that deadline for tonight? I hear a rush of noise. One person? By 11. 11? Or just two number one. Okay, by 11 p.m. Make sure you do that and have your bags tagged appropriately. Uh, yeah, the game room is being broken down. There will be no gaming in the game room after this show because they, oh. that's where we. Well, no gaming in the game room after the show because it's where we stage all of our stuff. The Drew and the interns and the helper monkeys have to remember the the film and pictures of the nine billion pallets we brought on the ship. They have to repalletize a bunch of our stuff. So if you have games that are in part of the game room collection, if you can collect those between this show and dinner, uh, that would be great. And also, you can still game in some of the extra areas anywhere on the ship, Cloud 9, Seven Hearts. Uh, please feel free to game, but we do need to have the game room back. So sorry about that. There will be, uh, we've extended onboard booking. If anyone has still been on the fence and needs to get it done, onboard booking will still be available uh, at the merch booth at the back of the room. And then there will be a, a merch table in the promenade on 5 until dinner time. That is your hard, fast deadline of 6 p.m. tonight if you want to get your onboard booking credit, uh, which you only get if you book here. If you book with the public later on, you can't retroactively apply it to you. You will get you will get your discounts, just not the onboard credits. Yes, uh, we have a number of extras of the duffel coolers uh, that will be at the back of the room following this show. Uh, you may feel free to take them. There was a gentleman. I uh, don't think this is the pick the card. Here's a uh, yes, John uh, Jason Hicks. Jason, are you here? They already gave it to you. All right, Jason's got his. That's all I care about. Everybody else, free for all scrum for the duffel coolers. I'm sure it will not result in injury. Uh, the, the people doing the puzzle hunt, we apologize. Uh, the home office and the uh, interns apologize profusely for the typo error that ended up there being a conflict for your wrap-up. Did you guys manage to get that wrapped up okay? Okay. We apologize and thank you for your patience and uh, the happy puzzling. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Shannon Quinn. 
Your uh, jaw bone Bluetooth speaker thing that Jim Boja had borrowed is back at the merch booth. Pick that up before you leave here today. Those of you who have ordered Cruise Against Hot Index and have not picked them up, those should be back at the back of the room. Uh, David Adler, if you can find Tara of the Crazy Hair, who's waving at you right now, uh, to exchange uh, your JCCC4 shirt for the proper type shirt. You can find her after the show. Someone left an entire dress at the It Takes Two event. Tara is hanging out right now. If there is a mostly naked or naked person whose dress that is, you can get that from Tara after the show. Uh, finally, uh, Gavin Verhe. Gavin, where are you? First of all, we are super glad you are back with us and that you are safe. Not many of you, uh, some of you may not know, but Gavin uh, had uh, it was a couple days he wasn't here with us on the ship. And we wanted to clarify because there's a lot of rumors going around. Gavin actually was doing research for a series of children's books he is writing. Uh, there's Gavin and his adventures around the volcano. And Gavin and his wacky trip around the Eastern Caribbean. You can look for those names. But thank you. Glad to have you back at St. Sound. Welcome back, Gavin. And if we can have five seconds of stillness and silent contemplation for our friend Opus, who is doing well, but uh, has asked us to please uh, mourn his loss. Great, thank you. And uh, uh, a repeated fuck you to his uh, pennies. With all of that said, to introduce Jonathan Colton, here's Greg Storm, he stands up. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Colton. Yeah. I wore my joke shirt. Amazing seeing interns, everybody.